let me tell you the story of how I first tried DMT and how that first experience changed my life and my experience of reality forever. Uh, for those that don't know, DMT is one of the most powerful psychedelics, and it is usually smoked or vaporized. When you mix it with other plants, you can consume it in a brew like ayahuasca. But if you want the pure DMT experience, uh, usually it's smoked, and it usually lasts anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. Very short, very intense. Definitely not something to play with. I would not recommend it for any first timers who have not tried shrooms, who have not tried other psychedelics. My experience with DMT begins in Vancouver. And in Vancouver, I had a friend and he had these vape pens with DMT cartridges. Uh, so it looked like a normal vape, but it was filled with DMT. I had never tried it and I was very curious. I don't remember why, what brought me to it. it. Maybe I heard it on Joe Rogan, but I cannot be sure. Up until that point, I'd only tried acid once, had a beautiful experience, and I had tried shrooms, I think also just once. And here I was about to try this DMT vape pen. So I buy it from the guy, I go home. I was living with roommates at the time, and it, it was a busy house, and it did not feel like the right environment to do it in. So what I did was, around 11 p.m., I drove my car to some quiet spot, and I parked it, I put on some good music, and in that, the bubble of the car, you know, it's, it's dark, it's parked on some obscure street, there's no one around, and I'm holding this DMT vape pen. Uh, the guy who sold it to me explained to me how you do it, which is you inhale, you breathe it in, and then you hold it in your lungs. So I did that. I put on some music, and I breathed in. And what happened was so extraordinary for me, because I was able to see frequency and vibration. These are things I had read about in books like Abraham Hicks and, you know, a lot of these law of attraction books, a lot of esoteric texts, they talk about how reality is mental. It's made from the mind, it's made from energy, it's made from consciousness, and that it's all just frequency and vibration. But it's one thing to read about it and listen to the teachers and the gurus and the authors it's a whole other thing to experience it yourself, first person, and to realize, oh my God, all these books were true. All the things that I suspected were true, my intuition was telling me it was true. Uh, it's all real. The easiest way I can describe it is that for a few minutes on DMT, I could perceive that reality was a hologram that it was an illusion, that it was maybe light, just solidified light. There was nothing, there was nothing really solid about reality. You know, up until that point, I had lived in a 3D tangible world, and I treated the world very, very solidly. And on this substance, I was seeing things that I cannot even describe, but it was not hallucinations. This is the, the thing that <laughs> those who have not done any psychedelics might roll their eyes at, but it was not as if something was being made up, like some sort of mirage. It very much felt like a stripping away, like as if there was layers of reality and the DMT briefly was allowing me to see beyond the veil and to see the raw source code of reality. This was the, the really cool part for me. I felt like I was looking at the, the code, the code behind reality. Um, and it's not like I saw zeros and ones, but I saw frequencies. I saw, for example, I was looking at my phone it was in a holder in the car, it was playing music. And as, as I was looking at this phone, 
I could see the, the, the screen on the phone. It was made out of layers of light. And the little uh, playhead on the Spotify was slowing down, like time was stretching. And I could, it was the most wild thing to see reality being molded and shifted in this way. Um, later on, when I had strong mushroom experiences and, and um, some more acid experiences, I experienced similar things. But for me, because DMT was so quick and so intense, it was truly a moment of revelation because in, the, in that moment I saw the undeniable truth that reality was a hologram or some sort of dream. None of it was real. It was all illusion. It all seemed to be made of consciousness, my consciousness, or perhaps one consciousness that we're all sharing. And it showed me that reality was moldable that you could stretch time and expand it. Uh, at, at one point, it seemed like um, the song I was playing on the phone was so stretched out that the little uh, ticker on the Spotify wasn't even moving. It was just stuck still. Um, it, it was insane. It was an, it was an insanely beautiful, mind-expanding experience for me. After that, all the books that I read, they meant so much more to me because I could relate it to my experience. When I would read about Maya and the illusion and vibration and how um, like attracts like and frequencies, it was no longer abstract concepts that someone was giving to me and I had to believe in them. It was something that I had experienced. For five minutes, for ten minutes, I had been there. And I believe we're always there. I think what DMT does is it removes the filter. It's almost like we have um, the sober filter overlaid on reality. Probably because we'd go a little bit nuts if we always had access to the DMT realm or the ayahuasca realm or the mushroom realm. Um, I see them all as interconnected. All roads lead to Rome. I think the brain puts up a protective filter of sorts just to dampen down the frequencies a little bit because there's a lot of frequencies out there. And, and I think the brain likes to just focus on a few specific frequencies that help us survive, that help you with your goals, and it kind of ignores all of the multitude of other frequencies out there. But on DMT, and this was so unmistakable, on DMT, the filters are removed and you get access to so much more frequency. And it's real. It's, it's, um, it feels more real than reality. It feels more true than, than anything that I've known in this normal 3D world. I should also mention, because I didn't mention this in the beginning, these vape pens are quite gentle, right? So if you're smoking DMT from a pipe, you're gone. I mean, you're not even here. Um, and I would not do it in a car. <laughs> so I do not recommend that. But when it's from a vape pen, uh, one hit, it kind of gets you in there. And then if you take a second hit, you go a little bit deeper. So it's a, it's a hybrid reality. And for a first timer, it was perfect because I didn't have this catapulted to Mars experience. It was much more gentler, much more forgiving. And and it gave me a hybrid experience. So I was able to see the car and see my phone and see reality and the trees outside, but from a DMT perspective. And that was, I mean, that was incredible. One of the most powerful experiences for me. Um, it, it was a true before and after, you know, before DMT, I don't know if I would have said I believe in magic or I believe in manifestation or I believe in the mystical and the woo-woo. After DMT, <laughs> be careful. You're going to go down a rabbit hole. <laughs> if you're ever going to try this stuff, once your eyes are open to it, uh, there's no going back. There's no going back. And that's good for me. 
I like that. <laughs> uh, it, it, it also, this was one thing that I want to mention. The moment I took that very first hit of DMT, I had a feeling, I had this epiphany of this is what I've been searching for all my life. Because all my life, I'd, I had been seeking something extraordinary, something non-ordinary, not of this world. Like, show me a UFO. Give me an astral projection experience. Give me an out-of-body experience. You know, I wanted to see something that would definitively prove to me that there was more to reality than meets the eye. And I had not seen a UFO and I had not had an out-of-body experience. I had had none of those mystical experiences that other people had talked about. And DMT was that very first one for me, um, where maybe acid was the, the beginning of it, but DMT was the, the, the turning point where I was like, oh shit, this is extraordinary. This is not ordinary reality. It's real though. It's true. It exists. I see it. I feel it. I can sense it. I can feel my consciousness permeating through this DMT realm, or perhaps the DMT permeating through my consciousness, but it's not ordinary. And that, that to me was such a it's such an epiphany and such a it's such a beautiful moment to finally receive the gift that I've been asking the universe all my life. Show me something extraordinary. Show me something that proves, you know, we all want proof, you know, prove to me that uh, manifestation works, prove to me that aliens exist. And this to me was proof that there was more to reality than meets die. And it, it opened up a whole set of doors uh, that led to shrooms and ayahuasca and uh, also led to a proper DMT experience from the pipe, uh, which is like even more intense and, and extraordinary on another level. So I'm extremely grateful to DMT because it did something for me that I thought I might never find. Well, anyway, I hope that story was entertaining. It's all true. If you're going to try it, be very careful because it's not something to be played with and make sure you have guidance. Make sure you have someone who explains how to use it properly. Make sure you have a good environment. Make sure you're safe. You know, even the way I did it in a car, although it was parked and it was completely stationary, even that is a little bit, you know, you got, you got to be really careful with your environment. So I'll, I'll leave you with this for anyone out there who has not had their extraordinary experience who has been asking to be shown the proof, who's been asking to be shown um, the invisible made visible, you know? I hope this inspires you. I hope this shows you that, yes, there are experiences like that, and you will receive them, and you can call them in. You can ask the universe to bring them to you. Uh, literally speak aloud to reality. Like if you're alone in your room right now, just speak to the ceiling and say, universe, bring me an extraordinary experience. Show me beyond the limits of my reality. Show me more of what's possible. Take me down the rabbit hole. Show me something that I cannot explain. Show me a mystery of life. And if you say it sincerely and with intention, and you let it go and you'll see, things will show up. Things will show up and, and weeks later, months later, you might go, oh shit, I'm having fucking crazy experiences. <laughs> you know, if you are someone who wants to explore reality and you, are, you have that burning curiosity to find out what is behind the veil, you want to see the source code of reality, make that intention even louder and clearer to the universe and you will see. You will, you will have it answered. Much love. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.